Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video we're going to be talking about the new mechanic and new rule changes that are going to be affecting the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game as of late summer for us over here in the TCG. It's going to be affecting the OCG in somewhere around mid-April, probably, like spring area, but if we are following suit with the, uh, with the previous example of how we got the pendulum mechanic and the field changed, and we got the new draw rule and the new field spell occupation rule, then we should have this implemented at the end of the North American WCQs or whatever national championship in the TCG is the last one to take place. The rule set should be in effect at the very end of that event after that event has taken place because we will have access to the structure deck these cards come out in as well as there will be a set on the horizon that introduces more of these cards. Now, what we have is we have link summoning and we have changes to the field in general, specifically how it affects summoning monsters from the extra deck. Now, what the hell is a link summon? A link summon is done using link monsters. As you can see on screen, there are these new blue motherfuckers that look a lot like rituals, but it's okay though because there's no level on these cards, they do not have a defense value, and they cannot change their battle position. They are locked into attack mode only, and they have links rather than levels. As, as you can see, there is a little thing that says link 3 here on decode talker down where the defense value and defense stat would be. And they also have these little arrows that are pointing around the card from the artwork. Now, what in the world do you do to summon these cards? It's actually very straightforward. Link summoning is very similar to synchro summoning in terms of how it's performed because for example of decode talker its requirements are three effect monsters. You will send those to the graveyard and then link summon decode talker. So decode talker being a link three monster it requires three effect monsters because it is a link three monster. Now alternatively you can link summon using other link monsters. Basically think of it as if you were synchro summoning with a synchro tuner. Basically, you can alternatively summon a Link monster like Link Decoder with a Link 1 monster plus 2 effect monsters to meet the Link 3 requirement, or a Link 2 monster plus 1 effect monster to fulfill the, link, the uh, link 3 requirement. A monster's link is also counted as its amount that it can be used as a material for another link summon, at least if that is the information that I've gotten that is correct, if I've deciphered that correctly, off of the organization's like website and the information they've given us. So that is a link summon. It's basically just a different methodology to synchro summoning, but literally every single one of the link monsters can be used as a material for a different link summon, and these cards do occupy your extra deck, so that is something to keep in mind. This is another extra deck summoning method. Now, going on, the board that we're going to be playing on changes quite a bit in terms of how the game is played moving forward. As you'll notice, the pendulum zones are no longer their own separate entities. They are now the left and rightmost spell and trap card zone, meaning that you can set cards in your spell and trap card zones as pen in the pendulum zones, basically, and set and activate spells and trap cards there. They are not treated as pendulum zones until you activate pendulum scales in those zones. So essentially if you are playing a pendulum deck and you have pendulum scales active, you are only going to be able to activate or set three other spells or traps to your board. So it's a little bit of a check and balance to the pendulum mechanic. It doesn't really do a lot to change things. Ultimately, I think this was a change more to tidy up the board space because the gameplay board that we have is definitely getting larger and larger with these new mechanics. And so having the pendulum zones be occupied to the already existent spell and trap card zones seems like just a way to tidy things up a bit as well as give a little tiny bit of a nerf to the pendulum mechanic itself so that you have to have a drawback of controlling less spells and traps um, in terms of basically settable trap card space. But, as you'll notice, there are two additional zones being added to the board. Above the main monster card zones, these spaces, these zones, transition the area between you and your opponent's board, and at the start of a game, they do not belong to either player. They only belong to a player as soon as an extra deck monster is summoned into that zone, and at that point, the opposite zone is automatically considered a part of your opponent's board. So you cannot occupy both of those zones at the same time in the same game. You, as one player, cannot occupy both zones. Both players are guaranteed one zone. Basically, they just do not come into effect onto your gameplay board until you choose which one you want. And the reason you have to choose which one you want is actually very relevant for Link Monsters and Link Summoning. Okay, but anyway... Your main monster card zones, the standard five zones that we've had since the dawn of Yu-Gi-Oh's time frame, you can no longer summon extra deck monsters into those zones. 
Synchro, Fusion, Xyz, or Link monsters cannot be summoned into those five monster card zones. You can only normal summon normal or effect monsters or special summon normal or effect monsters into those zones. Now, it doesn't say anything about Pendulum Summoning from the Extra Deck into those zones. I've seen no information confirming whether you can or cannot summon Pendulum Monsters from the Extra Deck into these zones or not. But there's nothing saying that you can't, and there's nothing saying that you can. I've seen literally no information. I've only heard people say that you can't, and then opposite people saying that you can. I've looked everywhere for the information on this, and I can't find it. And so I'm going to go with the assumption that there's no restriction on the Pendulum Summon over whether they're coming from the Extra Deck or coming from the Hand. That's the assumption I'm going to make right now until we get more information that is more clear-cut. But... For Synchro, Xyz, and Fusion monsters, and other Link monsters, you cannot summon those from the extra deck into the main monster card zones. So the five zones we've had since the dawn of time are now shut off to the extra deck. So it's a very interesting way to try and deal with power creep. That one extra zone that we've gathered, that is where you can summon an extra deck monster. So you can Synchro Summon into that zone if you want to, and occupy it with your one monster. You can Xyz Summon into that zone if you want to, and occupy it with your one monster. Or, you can unlock its full potential of that zone and summon a Link monster in that zone from your extra deck. Now, there's those arrows around the card artworks of the Link monsters, if you remember. Now, those arrows point to adjacent points on the board. And so, in the example of Decode Talker, it has got an arrow pointing in the bottom diagonal left and bottom diagonal right. So, when this card would be occupying that extra monster zone as the extra deck summon you have, the two zones that it points to are now zones on the main monster zones that can be used to summon Synchro, Fusion, Xyz, or other Link monsters from your extra deck. So basically, using Link monsters, you are unlocking your capability to use the extra deck going forward into the game. That's a very cool idea, and it's a very unorthodox way to deal with power creep, and it's also a very, very effective way to force the new mechanic down our throats. Good one, Konami. I see you still like that money. But, regardless, you now have the capability of unlocking more zones on your field, and it's very possible for you to have an entire board full of effect monsters that are, are full of effect monsters, Jesus, full of extra deck monsters. You can have your entire six monster card zones full of extra deck monsters because you can summon more link monsters into these additional zones you have unlocked, and those will also have arrows pointing left or right based off the cards you're summoning, and then that will allow you to summon more extra deck cards into those zones. So it's literally unlocking your capability to play the game from your extra deck moving forward. And so, like I said, I don't know if this directly affects Pendulums, I've seen no information as to whether or not you are only able to Pendulum Summon from your extra deck into that one zone, or the zones that the Link Monster is giving you access to, but I've seen no information for or against that. All I know is that some other Yugi tubers have talked about it, and have said, you can't Pendulum Summon because that's a monster from the extra deck, but in the original article that is on YG Organization, it only specifically mentions Fusion, Synchro, Xyz, and Link Monsters. Now, it also has a little bit of a contradiction built into it, so I'm really curious to see more of the actual, like, proper rule set come into play, because as of right now, this is literally just a, a basic explanation of what, the, of what the mechanics and the changes are going to be. The article says that you cannot summon Synchro, Xyz, Fusion, or Link monsters into the main monster card zones unless they are being granted access to by Link monsters opening up the zones. But then in a Q&A at the end of the article... There is a question that says, if I monster reborn a synchro monster or an extra deck monster that was properly summoned and went to graveyard, does it go into the extra deck zone, the extra monster zone, or can I summon it in the main monster zone? And the answer that was given was you can summon it into the main monster zone. It does not go into the extra deck zone. So I'm assuming that that means, unless that contradiction was just an error in translation, that means that the extra deck zone is when you are trying to summon a monster from the extra deck. That's what I'm trying to infer from this. Like I said, there's a little bit of a contradiction in terms of the information that we're getting, but ultimately this is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with link monsters being put in those zones to allow you to open up more zones for you to summon from the extra deck, and 
basically so on and so forth. Now, this slows the game down a bit in terms of you're going to have to literally unlock your accessibility into the extra deck stuff. Now, obviously in the future there will probably be some Link monsters that are going to be very busted, and the mechanic is going to get out of control just like Pendulums, just like Xyz, just like Synchro did. But Ultimately, as of right now, this is a very interesting way to take the game, and I actually kind of really like it um, in terms of like just a theory of how this can change the game moving forward because it makes it much more in-depth, much more complex, and that is something that I really, really like. But, basically, um, these are the changes that we have, and there's a lot of contradictions in the information that we've been given, like I said. So, I'm basically really, really waiting on an official 100% like tutorial slash rulebook statement that's put out by Konami before I'm willing to like jump to a full conclusion on yes this is great or no this isn't. The problem I have with it, one of the problems is that they are extra deck monsters and you're trying to unlock your use of the extra deck with them so I think the extra deck probably should have increased in size to like 20 because we have four extra deck mechanics now. Think about that, we've got Fusion, Synchro, Xyz and now Link. We've got four extra deck mechanics. A 20 card extra deck would probably be like perfectly fine because of how tight things are. Or you could even just say, okay, the extra deck can be 20 cards, but those extra five slots can only be used for link monsters. Like, you can only occupy the 16 to 20 slot on your extra deck with link monsters. Like, there's there's a couple of different things that could happen, and I'm kind of upset that we haven't heard anything about an extra deck increase in size because these cards are extra deck summons. And so that means that things are going to be even more crowded. But anyway, that's basically my take on the information we've got so far. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, whether you like the change or whether you hate it. I think it's a very interesting time for Yu-Gi-Oh! And I think it's going to be a very interesting change moving forward. Honestly, I really like this because basically you have the, cap the capability of playing an extra deck deck and trying to use the Link Monsters to unlock your capability to play. Or you have other decks like Cosmo, Mermail, Infernoids, Monarchs. Ritual based decks and stuff like that that don't actually get hindered by this, but those were in general slower paced decks anyway. So basically, you have the ability to like even the playing field down a bit and basically dial the entire game down, except for like I said slower paced decks, but Mermel literally just kills you. So I don't know. I don't know like how, how this is going to affect the game uh, moving forward in that regard, but there definitely are decks that are not hindered by this very, very much, if at all, which you do have access to playing. So anyway, like I said, I want to know what you guys' thoughts are on this in the comments down below and all that sort of nonsense. Let me know what you guys think. I really personally welcome the change because, like I said, it makes the game more in-depth, more complex, and makes it overall easier for you to not get blown out of the game turn one. So all of those factors just make it... Uh, make it something that I'm actually really looking forward to and I'm hopeful that it does something good for the game. But other than that, like, comment, subscribe, do all that nonsense you usually do. Links are in the description to my Facebook and Patreon page. If you want to support me directly, definitely go check that out. You can get access to my personal Discord server or just enter into a monthly giveaway. At the end of this month, I'm going to be giving away a box of Raging Tempest and if things go well enough, a box of Fusion Enforcers as well. So if you want to get some free stuff and get in on that potential way to win that box and stuff shipped to you, then definitely go check out the Patreon page itself. Or if you just want to support me directly and support the things I do, then you can definitely do that as well. But other than that, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. If I missed anything or said anything wrong, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video, hopefully when we have more information about this bullshit.